Hi everybody! I am that nursing prop and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on weight-based calculations. So let's jump into our first practice one. A nurse is preparing to administer medication B to an adult patient. The prescription is one milligram per kilogram per dose every 12 hours. The patient weighs 95 pounds, so a petite adult, a little adult, right? So how many milligrams should the nurse administer per dose? So we're looking for milligrams. So we're going to have milligrams here. And if it's going to be here, it needs to be in our numerator. So where do we see it? In here? Up here. So one milligram per kilogram per dose. So if you were curious, how do we write this in equation form? This is what it looks like, okay? So the milligrams is in the numerator and the kilograms per dose is in your denominator. What else do we need to put in here? We need to put in a converting factor because we don't have the patient's weight in kilograms, we only have it in pounds, right? So we'll put 95 pounds up here over one and we need to convert pounds to kilograms. So 2.2 pounds is one kilogram. So we'll cancel the kilograms out, we'll cancel the pounds out, and then we'll get milligrams over dose. Now if you want to put dose in your numerator here, or in your denominator here, excuse me, um, you can. You don't technically have to, it's kind of just implied. But if you want to write it like this, that's also correct. So you'll punch it in, you'll do your math, and you'll get 43.2. Depending on whether or not the question wants you to round, you'll get 43.2 or you'll just get 43. It'll depend. It'll tell you in the question if they want you to round or not. In this one, we're just going to say no. It's fine. So we get 43.2 milligrams per dose. Let's do another one. Okay, let's do another one. A patient has a prescription for medication A, 1 milligram per kilogram per dose. The patient weighs 185 pounds. How many milligrams should be given? So we're looking for milligrams, so we'll put milligrams in our answer. We want to have milligrams in our numerator. So where is that? That's up here. So one milligram per kilogram per dose. What else do we know? We know the patient weighs 185 pounds. And now we need to convert pounds and kilograms. So one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So the kilograms will cancel, the pounds will cancel. This leaves us milligrams per dose. So you can keep it like this or you can write milligrams per dose here. Punch it in your calculator, do the math, and you get 84.1 milligrams per dose. Now let's do one with a child. So a nurse is preparing to administer medication C, 10 milligrams per kilogram per dose, to a child who weighs 28 pounds. The amount available is medication C, 120 milligrams per 5 mLs. How many mLs should the nurse administer? And we're not going to round on this one, because it doesn't say it anywhere. So mLs is what we want in our answer, so mLs has to be in our numerator somewhere. Where is it in the problem? It's right here. So 5 mLs is 120 milligrams. What else do we know? We know that we want to give 10 milligrams per kilogram per dose. So we can put that here, 10 milligrams per kilogram per dose. We also know the child's weight, which is 28 pounds. So we'll put 28 pounds over 1. And then we need a converting factor for our pounds to kilograms, right? So 1 kilogram is 2.2 pounds. Now we can start canceling things out. So milligrams will cancel, kilograms will cancel, and our pounds will cancel. That leaves us with mLs per our dose. You punch it in, do the math, and you get 5.3 mLs per dose. This next one is a little bit different 
because up until this point, we've been doing milligrams per kilograms per dose, and the dose has been kind of implied at the end. In this one, it's not, because we're doing milligrams per kilograms per day. So let's jump into it and see if we can figure it out. We have the nurse. She's gonna administer medication M, 15 milligrams per kilograms per day. This is divided equally every 12 hours. The patient weighs 198 pounds. How many milligrams should the nurse administer with each dose? So we want to know milligrams, right? So we'll put milligrams here in our answer. And where do we see it here in the problem to put it up here? Right there, right? So 15 milligrams per kilograms per day. What else do we know? We know the patient weighs 198 pounds. And we know we need to convert uh, pounds to kilograms. So 198 pounds over one, and then one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So the kilograms will cancel, the pounds will cancel, but this leaves us with milligrams per day, right? And that's not what it's asking. It's asking for milligrams per dose. So when we do the math for milligrams per day, I wrote it down because I don't have it memorized, as 1350, okay? And now we need to go one step further because this isn't about the day, it's about each dose. How many doses are we gonna give in this day? Two, right? Because it's every 12 hours and there's 24 hours in a day. So we're gonna divide this by two and that gets us 675 milligrams per dose. So this is our answer, okay? This is helping us get to our answer, but this is what the question is asking for. It's asking per dose, not per day. So that was my video. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.